back to our channel. Today we wanted to do a video and show you all of the filming equipment that we use to do our videos. So we've had some interest and in people asking us about how we make our videos, what kind of equipment we use. So today we're going to show you the current filming equipment that we have, what we use pretty much daily, um, some of the extras that we have, mounts and things like that. So if we look over here, these are all of the cameras that we use to film to make our YouTube videos. When we first started, before we even made our YouTube channel, we had started out with just two GoPros. And now you can see we have about, we have four GoPros, a Sony, two Sony cameras and all those. We have a, a variety of different cameras and we've kind of gotten a little crazy on it because we buy one and then an Jason researches and finds some newer ones and we get those. So basically when we first started doing our channel, we started out with these two GoPros. We have two GoPro Hero 3s. And basically one we always use for a dash cam before we got the dash cam now. And then we would I would film our scenery videos with the other one. Um, these are different sizes because this has an extra external battery on it. And Basically, this is the camera that I still use today to do most all of the outside footage that you see when we're driving. So those are the two cameras we started with. Then over time, we ended up getting the Hero 4 Black when it came out. It's, you know, every time GoPro comes out with something, it just has a little bit better features and things on it. So we got the Hero 4. This also, I have an extra external battery pack on it. This allows you to film longer before you have to charge the camera. This is the camera uh, I use when I'm usually doing inside shots of dry, when we're driving in the truck, you see us talking on camera. This is usually the camera I am using filming those. Now, these two, these just have some removable lens protectors. I don't usually film with these on, but I do keep them on when the cameras are not in use just to protect the lens of the camera. Then Jason got a GoPro Sessions. This you can see is a really different shape than the regular GoPros are. Um, this has a lot of cool features, mainly kind of like the four, I guess you would say, as far as features, but it is very small and easy to um, take with you, put it in your pocket. This one we've been using, we've also mounted it in the front windshield and have been using it to kind of take some road footage as well. And also taking it out with us when we're just doing random vlogging things. So Jason has been really obsessed with the steadiness of our footage and the editing software I, I have does help with that some. But I had noticed, you know, with that editing software, it really zooms in your, your footage. So you don't get the full effect of the footage you're filming. So Jason researched it and he found this Sony 4K camera and it's really, really good. He did a comparison video. I'll link it up above here so you can check that out if you'd like to. But this is one we use a lot when we're walking around, doing video, things like that. This is the main one we've been using for that. We also have just a regular Sony camera, which of course takes photos and also takes video. I don't use this very often. Um, I have used it for a couple of videos when I've been sitting down, um, but mainly I use this for pictures. Every so often I will use it for videos. We also have these pivot head glasses and we did a whole video on these as well. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below, but they have a camera right here in the middle. To be quite honest, we do not use these very often. I think we've maybe used them two times in total for videos. Um, just because for one, we always forget about them and we both wear prescription glasses. So when we're wearing these, we can't really see very good what we're doing. So, but we do have those and you know, maybe in the future we'll use those a little bit more. Then we also have, an. this is called the DJI Osmo and Jason did a complete video on this as well. I'll link that below. But it is basically, it's a gimbal 
that has a built-in camera and the gimbal is to help to steady the video so this is really really nice and honestly we have not used it very often the only time we really use this is we did and um, when we went to Destin to the beach we did take this down it it definitely makes for great video with the stability of the camera and the gimbal that is basically all of the actual cameras that we use when filming our videos with the exception of we do both have iPhones that we do use sometimes Jason right now is actually filming with his iPhone so I could show you the cameras we use but the iPhones we really don't do a lot of videoing for our actual YouTube videos so now I'm going to show you kind of just some of the mounts and things that we have also that we use when we're filming. All right, so these are mostly the mounts that we use when we're filming for the GoPros. Um, we have a couple of these little selfie sticks. They actually float. These are really nice when you're out walking. They do help a little bit with stabilization, but we do have two of those. I keep one of the Hero 3 Pluses on one, and we have one for the session. Then also the camera I was telling you when I do most of the outside footage when we're driving, this is the mount that I use to do that. It's just this really, really strong clamp. It is made from GoPro. I usually hook this on our outside side mirrors. Um, it's really nice because I can hook it to a lot of places on the truck and different things when we're videoing. So I really, really like this. I have two of these. And then if you look, this case that the GoPro is in, this is actually a waterproof case that comes with the GoPro when you get it. So of course, when you're doing out by outside footage, especially driving down the road, you want your camera protected. So that's really nice. And that's also what we use if we're doing any underwater footage, things like that, because it is waterproof. Then I have another little frame. This is the, what I keep the four in up front on the dash. So when you buy GoPros, they have some little sticky mounts and you can mount those wherever you want. And these little things just slip right inside and you can put your camera mounted in that and it, they're really nice. Um, this is the microphone that we use. I'm sure some of you have seen this, I uh, mean wearing this in some of the videos. But when it's really loud out or driving, I find that using the microphone helps a little bit better with the audio quality. And it's just a cheap little clip-on microphone. We purchased it at Best Buy, and I apologize. I don't know the brand. Jason seems to think it was a Sony, but I don't see any brand on the microphone. But in order to use this with our GoPros, we did have to purchase an extra adapter. And the way this works, it basically just converts this plug to work and fit into the GoPro. And it just basically hooks right into the GoPro like that. And then it picks up the audio from the microphone instead of the external mic on the GoPro. We do have another gimbal that actually we just purchased this not that long ago. And it's a little, it's kind of similar to the, the other one that has the camera on it, but this one you can actually use your GoPros with. And there are a couple other cameras I believe that you can use with this. It was fairly priced. Um, and to be honest, we haven't really used this yet. Actually, the main reason we got the gimbals to use is anytime we're doing any kind of like sightseeing, things like that, that comes in handy as far as walking around when we're going to be doing a lot of walking around and looking at things. So that's what we got those for. And then if you see this big box here, this is pretty much all of the extra accessories that we have for all of the cameras. And um, we have some extra sticky mounts. We actually bought these windscreens for the GoPros and we have not used them yet. Um, but yeah, if you look down in there, I've got a couple different tripods for the GoPros, another selfie stick, a lot of the cases for the GoPro, because every time you buy a GoPro, you get a whole case plus a bunch of back attachments for it. So we've got a ton of those in there. These little things, this actually came with this, this um, clamp clip. So if you wanted it to be up a little taller and it moves you can do that I mean I, we've just got kind of a bunch of different things in here we've got a suction cup I think we've got two suction cups in there but yeah 
that's basically our big box of accessories for our cameras. So those are all of the cameras and the mounts that we use when we are filming our videos for YouTube. The editing software I use, I have used two different types of editing software. I've used iMovie. Now I'm currently using Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10. If y'all would like, I can do a separate video kind of showing the process of how I edit our videos. You know, doing the YouTube videos, a lot of the process is the editing process. Um, I can tell you I am not a pro on editing. Um, I am still learning. If you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up, leave it down in the comments, let us know, and I will be happy to do that for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on any of the equipment we use, feel free to ask. And as always, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until our next video, peace, love, and expediting. So we've had some... In what? My arm itched. So we've had some...